Yeah, but I don't want to talk on the radio right now. BK. Chief of Staff. Chris Warner calling here from the New Zealand government. Why are you posing that someone else is not? We'll just call the White House and just go, I'll wish them good luck for the election. Call the White House. You want to bug them a couple of days out from... I've phoned them before okay. and they just they just hang up on you. Are you ringing? International call. Good afternoon, White House. Hi there. Daddy. How are you? Yeah, good. Chris Warner calling here from the New Zealand government. Prime Minister Ardern's chief of staff just had uh, the Prime Minister on standby to wish her well wishes to President Trump. Hold there, sir. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Hello, Chris. Yeah. Are you there? Speaking. Meadows, White House chief of staff. How's New Zealand today? Good, thank you. Now, I, I understand uh, Prime Minister Ardern would uh, would like a word with the president. Just to uh, uh, wish her well wishes. She could b pass on the well wishes if, if you want to do that. Sure. The president is just in a meeting at the moment. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll just find out where the president's current meeting is. Okay. If you don't mind holding the line. No worries. Right. Thank you. Thanks. Why have you, you've gone way too deep here? Why are you posing that someone else you're not? What, that you were just going to ring them up and say you're... It'll be fine. It'll be but but, but what is the point through. of this? This is, this is this not... This is awkward and this is causing anxiety. This is... This is... What, you're what? You've gone in deep. I don't want to... Chris, Chris, are you there? Hi, how are you? Hey, good thing. The, the, uh, the president is just finishing up now and uh, he would love to have a conversation with the prime minister. Uh, we, we do need to be quick though. Okay. I don't want, I don't want, I don't want, what are you doing? This is, is this legit? This is bullshit. Yeah. No. Hello? Prime Minister? Hello? Hello? Kelly? Oh, hello, Prime Minister, how are you? Uh, good to talk to you again. I'm um, very happy to be speaking with you. Oh, great, great to speak to you too, President Trump. How, how are you? Well, I'm absolutely fantastic. We're looking at a very, you know, a rock solid win against uh, Joe Biden. I think we're going to do uh, very well in a lot of the key states uh, here in the U.S. Uh, I mean, I don't, I don't think I'm going to have uh, a landslide like you had, which was oh. very, very impressive. I have to tell you, I have to tell you. I think you're just doing a tremendous job down there in Australia, and I'm so happy, and I, I hope to continue. Uh, it was the next four years in this next term, and hopefully you're not talking to Sleepy Joe because I don't <laughs> think you'll like it. Th thank you very much. Ha see you. Okay, okay, very good. We're gonna we're gonna keep America great again and again and again. Wonderful, wonderful. Thanks, thank good you. Enough. Bye, bye. Thank you, Prime Minister. You're uh, fantastic. <laughs> Was that bullshit? Was that bullshit? No. Did you guys are on something here. No. Is that because? Uh, is it, I can hear people. Is this? Are we still on? This is. Is this? No. Like, I don't. Want, no, I don't want. Prison. This is it. Why do I hear a lot of voices? Is this a secure line? I thought Hang this was a secure it. line. I don't know if this is a joke on me, but I don't want to talk on the radio right now. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello, Kelly. Can you find out what the hell's going on here? I, <laughs> right, I hear a lot of voices. I thought we were on a secure line. <laughs> this line should not be open. This is a breach of. National security, if you've hacked this line in any way, believe me, the FBI will be, they, they'll find out because this line is being monitored by quite a few people. I don't know quite if this is, people. I'm, 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 look, that. I'm sorry, I don't know if this is actually uh, Mr. Trump or not. I feel like there's a joke being played on me right now. No, but if, certainly is. in a room with a bunch of people on a secure <laughs> line, but I'm talking to someone who I don't know who I'm talking to. So if you could just kindly identify yourself. Oh, really look, we're from a radio station in New Zealand. Uh, I don't know actually well, I don't, know what, what's happening right now. I, I feel like I thought we had a great relationship with New Zealand, and no one's giving me any answers. Well, no, I'm, I'm no, I'm not that. I have to tell you something. Better not be into that Borat that not... happened to Mike Pence because we do not like that at all. And now you're you're you guys are just screwing around with us, and I don't appreciate that, especially two days before probably the most contentious election in the United States. So what is it? So what is this a radio station? Is yeah, a radio it's, station? it's a radio station. It's like, I, I don't you know, know. this crap is not funny. It's not funny. No, okay. I'm not laughing. I'm not no. laughing. I'm not sure what's happening no, here right listen, now. It's... I feel like we're being caught up in something that. Listen, Ben, like... Ben, 
It's just the world's premier Donald Trump impersonator, John D. Domenico, <laughs> on the phone. Hello, Ben. How are you, buddy? It's been a long play. <laughs> See, you're very it's good. It's been a long a, play. Oh, you're very good. I'm like, what, is the, what are we doing? What? Oh, the secret meetings behind the scenes to pull this off. John, you were magnificent. <laughs> Thank you so much. I guess what? I'm not going to fire you, Ben. I'm not going to fire you. I might fire myself.